as you mentioned, you played football in Staderen until the age of uh, 16, and then you switched uh, to handball. Can you tell me a little, about, uh, little bit about about this period of your life? Of a uh, football life? Yes. Yeah, it was it was nice. Uh, it was of, of course it was the. I was very young and it was in the professional club and it was very hard at the beginning. I remember I, at the age of 13, I was. I woke up at six every morning and I came back at home at eight or maybe later, and it was very hard. And I have this, uh, this, you know, uh, the school and the football and everything, and it was not easy. But at the end, I, I found my way, and I have now a lot of good friends uh, since this period. And uh, one of the, one of them will will uh, will come in uh, June for the final of the championship. So I have just good memories about this. Okay, I I have not success, but. It was helping me for the future, yes. And after that you choose uh, handball. Uh, why are you choosing handball? The door were, were closed in football, sorry. And uh, I think maybe it was time to, to make something else. And I, I, I suck. In the beginning I have the, uh, the physical to play handball, more than football. So it's yeah. the reason also because I changed, uh, I changed the sport. Yeah, and after that uh, you were noticed by Nantes, uh, where your professional career began. Uh, how do you remember this period of your life? Yeah. I was surprised because uh, after I started at 16 and after one year and some months I, I need to, to make a surgery in my shoulder, a big one. And uh, after this I didn't find club to play in professional until the age of 20 I played in third division left back. And uh, one day, um, the um, selectioner of the national team under 21 called me. I was very surprised because normally he called only player who play with in professional club, you know. And um, he called me, and I played good one, two time, and uh, some club uh, asked me to to make some test. And it was the case of Cesson, who is in the first league also. Is the the, the club uh, of my uh, of my uh, city and uh, Nantes also was is close to my hometown so they asked me to make some tests and it was good so at the end of the season they proposed me to be half professional for one year and for, for sure I, I accept I believe uh, two years after your uh, first professional contract uh, you played in the Champions League final with uh, Nantes uh, did you think uh, you would get you would get uh, to this point so quickly oh no it depends on when, but if you ask me two or three years before, I said, if, if I am a good player of second division, I will say it's amazing, you know. <laughs> but I played this, okay, I was not playing too much, but I, I was on the field. I played maybe, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes, I know, in semi final and the final. And for me, it was amazing to play this at the, after everything, you know, to, I start very late and I have a lot of problems with my shoulder and everything. So, yeah, it's good chose uh, the Serbian national yeah. uh, team. Uh, why did you decide to, to play for uh, I, the Serbian national team? Uh, it was so, so always hard to explain, but uh, no, no one called me during three years and I play amazing in Nantes and in Championship and in Champions League and everything, and I have no selection. If I had selection, you, I will not ask this, this uh, question in my mind, but after three years, I asked to the... Um, uh, to, to have one meeting with the selectioner, Guillaume Gilles, and uh, we spoke about, about this, what is my place in the national team, and he said, until now you have, you have no place for you, and the concurrence is, is not concurrence in France. We have three pivots, and there will be these three pivots. So I said, maybe next time I will be not here. I need to make a decision, and uh, I made the decision. Oh, that's clear. And uh, after uh, almost 10 years, uh, you left uh, Nantes for West Prem. Uh, even though PSG and Montpellier wanted to sign you, uh, why did you choose uh, Telecom West Prem? Uh, first of all, I didn't want to stay in France. And Paris and Montpellier are the big rival of town, so I, for me, I cannot do this, you know, like... Okay, I know some players in West Prem sign in Seged, but you know, for me, I cannot because I, fa I fought a lot of time against Paris, against Montpellier, and it was not possible. It was none or nothing, but... When West Prem called, it was very different because it's outside France and it's a big club and with a lot of ambition and good players. So my, my dream is to, to try it one time to play the Champions League and I think I have more chance to win here than in Nantes. So it's the, the first reason why I signed in West Prem. Uh, and uh, how do you feel here so far? Uh, did you manage to fit in uh, the club? 
yeah, I feel good. I feel good. It was not so so easy at the beginning because it was too much change. You know, the the weather, the language, the city. Because Nantes is much bigger city. I think is five, six times bigger than Vesprem, and it's more life. You know, but I was surprised. <laughs> in in Vesprem is like uh, after nine is everything is closed <laughs> and they just say well, what I, what I can do now. But oh, okay, the, the atmosphere in the team is amazing, and uh, we met uh, each other uh, almost every day. So. Yeah, I'm very happy about this and on the field also. And uh, is there any significance uh, to the fact that you play in uh, the number uh, 46 jersey? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the 46 you do in France, you have uh, in every place you have the number of the district and, and um, from 1 to uh, 95. And when I I born in Cahors, the lot, the, this is the name of the district, is the number 46. Uh, what is your uh, most memorable match uh, so far in in West Prem jersey? Oof. Maybe I want to say it was a lot, but uh, maybe the first one against Paris was amazing. It was the first time in full arena, and the the, the game was crazy. We won at the end against one of the best in Europe, and uh, it was very good memory. And also when my family came, my family came against this first game against Seged and Magdeburg and I was very happy to, to sit there in the arena. Sea or pool? Sea. Wellness or uh, riding a bicycle? Uh, wellness. I, uh, I have one, one thing because two years ago I, uh, with my friend we met the, the one road like this in the Britain and I have so much pain in my house after this because when you sit, you know, and on the seat of the, it was <laughs> terrific and I, I, I don't want anymore to, <laughs> to, to make bicycle though, so I will say the other one. Okay. Uh, electronic music or hip hop? Uh, hip hop, yeah. Cinema or watching a movie at home? Watching movie at home, yeah. Pineapple on pizza? No, forbidden, <laughs> no, not possible. Beer or wine? Uh, it's depending. If we we hit something, maybe wine. But if it's just to, to meet with friend, I will say beer. So I cannot uh, answer. It's very hard. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.